Hello my HCG peeps, it's Maddie and today is Friday and it is my happy Friday. Today is my round 5 P2 and VLCD it's either 25 or 26, I don't remember. Or, yeah, anyway. Um, so I, everything is going well. I'm doing fine on the diet. I feel like I'm really in ketosis, like I'm really cold all the time. Um, so that feels good to know that, I mean, it's just such a reminder that the diet's working and I'm losing weight. So that feels good. I'm kind of in a funk cause I just came back from the doctor's office just for a checkup. I'm trying to use this time in between taking the bar and getting bar results to like go to the dentist and go to the doctor and get my mammogram and all that stuff, right? So I went to the doctor for a checkup and I knew the dreaded moment of, can you get on the scale please, was going to come. And it's, you know, I always turn around and so that I can't see the number. I'm really glad I did that. So I asked the gal, some little little nurse girl, um, young pup. I said, so can you just tell me if the number's over or under 250? And she said, over. And I was like, crap. So then I asked her, I was in with pneumonia last spring. Um, I had pneumonia February, March, and April. So I asked if it was above or below that time because I know I weighed as much as I did when I started this diet <laughs> when I had pneumonia, like fat and fat and you know, everything was huge and I was sitting in a chair all the time and I was going into final exams for my last trimester in law school and doing bar prep at the same time and I was just a big old wad of fat. And I said, so is it above or below when I was in here in the spring? And she said, it's above. So that bummed me out hard. Um, and I said, but... I know I've lost weight since then. Like I couldn't even wear this shirt at that time because it was too tight. And she goes, well, were you, are you exercising? And I said, yeah, but not vigorously. You know, I said, you know, I've gotten up out of my chair uh, where I wasn't before I was sitting and studying. And she said, well, you could be building muscle and muscle weighs more than fat. So, I mean, I know I'm doing sit-ups and push-ups every night and I did walk a lot yesterday and stuff like that but really come on so and then I think like my son gets weighed all the time because um, he's on psychiatric meds and stuff and one of the scales he's a heavy heavy kid um, I think he's probably something like 280 but one of the scales said he was 230 one of it said he was 260 one of them said it was he was 290 I mean all the scales were different, I mean, and drastically different. So I shouldn't care, right? I shouldn't be funked out about it, but I am. And what I am starting to awaken to, which makes me sad, is the reality that probably I have done this round to get myself to the starting place of where I was in 2011. So, and when I started in 2011, I was like 262 or 264 or something like that. And I think I was 264, 265, and then I lost weight when I was loading, which go figure. So, um, I am probably getting to that point. I'm probably at that point. So, that makes me sad. <laughs> I'm sad about that. I was hoping I wasn't as bad as that. So, um, and it just tells me I have a long, long way to go. So, but uh, thank God that I have HCG and that I have hope and that I know how to do it and I've done it before and I 
can get my health and my body back. Thank God for HCG and homeopathic HCG and you know that's the upside that's the positive is that I know how to do this so it's just a bummer that I have to do this. <laughs> Does that make sense? Anyway so I'm kind of in a funky place. Won't you take me? To That's the song I should have put on here. I couldn't figure out a song to um, equate to my mood. I should have put on Funky Town. That would have been fun and appropriate. So I just wanted to update. I know you guys are awesome and supportive and all of that. But um, So, okay. So I'm starting over. I'm back to wherever I was then. I'm not going to get on the scale because I know at this point, if I see that number, I will freaking obsess. I will, I'm like already like, should I not do this uh, P3 break? Should I just keep going and stay in ketosis for months on end? That's not healthy for me. I know that's not healthy for me. I need to take a break and let my body come up for air. And, um, you know, so I just have to breathe and stick with my plan and know that I've got this. It just doesn't feel good right now. But that's life. So maybe that would have been a good song. That's life. Da 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 da. All right. So you used to live with me singing it. Um, I wish you all a happy Friday. I wish you all big releases, easy stabilization, happy maintenance. And I will. Uh, Talk to you guys next week. Have a great weekend. Happy Labor Day, everyone.